What's going on, fellas? Coach Davis back with another video. We live from Brooklyn, right? I had to get this off my chest. I've been sitting back for a minute trying to see if somebody was going to beat me to the punch with this kind of video. And I had to remind myself it's levels to being woke. It's levels. I've been so deep in this woke, real red pill shit. Man, it's about time somebody like me speak on this topic. Now let's get straight into it, right? What's the real problem with, that men have with women? Men ain't got a problem with women. There is, There has never ever been a problem with men and women. The only problem is men having a problem with themselves. Let me explain why. Men out here don't accept themselves sexually. They just about to get in the shower, drop their drawers, and they washing their ass. They constantly reminded of the shrimp dick that they fucking have, and they insecure and know that they can't sexually please a woman. Or no woman that they really want is gonna want them. And that'll drive a man crazy. Oh yeah, that'll drive a man crazy and have him in his room beating the fuck out of his dick till he busts. Till he fucking kill himself or some shit. Cause he don't want to work on himself. He not taking care of his diet, his body, no nothing. This nigga just a walking suicidal motherfucker. A walking school shooter motherfucker. Cause his dick little. And he's shrinking it. He been shrinking it for years. Being addicted to PMO and shit. He won't blame it on God. He don't want to work on himself and see what happens. Nigga just ready to give up. He tired. He jealous of the other niggas that could do what they do. Like, oh, I should want to fuck with the bad boy and all that bullshit. Shut the fuck up, nigga. She don't want to fuck with you because you know what it is, nigga. You know what time it is when it's time to have sex. You be dating shorty. And you got the right financial stability and all like that. Uh -huh, he, 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 ha, ha, you can make a laugh and all that. What's going to happen when she looking for the sexual chemistry, though? And you can't knock it down in the bedroom till she busts. You got premature ejaculation, even if you a little above average or whatever. You could be a little above average and still be trying to get them. You in them walls and all that, you still going to bust fast. All right, you still can't hit it till she busts. You feel me? Like, it's, niggas just be niggas be pressed about their own issues that they got within themselves, and most men suffer from this. Why? Because most men suffer from being addicted to a, to pornography and shit. So most men is out here suffering from erectile dysfunction, from pe from uh, premature ejaculation, and from shrinking their dick. All right, taking all the girth away and and length too. After why that shit fuck with your length too. Right. Now let's get a little deeper. What else? What's the real problem men got with women? Let me hear. Yeah. Niggas might think I'm doing a disservice to men. Nah, I gotta fucking tell the truth about this. Because I know the real. That's why they say watch out for the quiet motherfucker. I always been a quiet motherfucker in the back, knowing the truth, just peeping game. Like, oh, these niggas gonna keep lying? I bet. Watch this. Now. You got the dude that had a girlfriend. That yeah, niggas gonna hate me for this. You gonna have the dude that had a girlfriend. She accepted him for the size he had. That's why he got so attached to her. And she accepted him for who he was, who he don't really even accept himself for. She did. He put all his eggs in one basket, not because he wanted to, because he felt like he had to. So she don't want to fuck with that no more. She might experience something bigger or whatever the fuck. Or he just, they just ain't work out. Now he got to fucking start all over and look for somebody, for another female to try to hopefully accept him for who he is or clown him, expose him, whatever. Nigga is shook out here. He trying to do whatever he can do to get back with her. Because she know what time it is at least. <laughs> Oh my God, that's tough. Right? Because, I mean, would you have that problem if, you, if your dick was the size you wanted it to be? 
Would you even have been with that girl in the first place? Alright, so really all in all you gotta do is just fucking work on yourself and stop worrying about what women are doing, bro. I don't even watch these red pill female nature channels. I know what time it is with women when you when you got self-love and you accept yourself for who you are, you just be yourself unapologetically. My nigga, you don't need no game from nobody, nigga. Nobody. You gonna be you regardless and you gonna succeed at being yourself. You feel me? That's the real problem with why men and women is clashing out here. Nowadays, women is so open with their sexuality and shit. Right? You know, let me let me tell y'all the game of what women be doing on social media. Women use social media as a tool. Because they're not going to tell you what they like to your face. They're not going to really tell you the real or what they like to you to your face. And we already know that, right? So they, what they do, they get on Twitter and they talk they shit. So what they do, they get on Instagram and they talk they shit. So that, you know, dudes that come across their page, they know what time it is. Everybody know what time it is. Even if that's not who they really are in real life. That's who they want to be perceived as, though. That's who they looking to become. So they trying to reel a certain type of crowd in and push away another type of crowd. That's the whole purpose of women being on Instagram and social media in general. They're using it as a tool to add to their life, to their real life. They're using it as a way to express themselves without really having to express themselves. Right? So before you even make a move and slide in the DM, she hoping that she already know what time it is from how she operate on her motherfucking and the shit she be popping on her Twitter. She hoping that you over there on her Twitter seeing the stuff she posts. So you know what time it is. Right? And women nowadays so open with their sexuality. Dudes out here like, fuck, I know what time it is with me. I can't I can't get with that. Because when it's time when that sexual tension comes, niggas ain't going to be able to, niggas going to be nervous. This niggas just like, I ain't even ready for all that. Man, she ain't even going to fuck with what I got going on. And that'll fuck a man up. Oh yeah, that'll fuck a man up. For real. When you when your back is against the wall like this, and you ain't got no choice but to work on yourself. Or you ain't got no choice but to give up and go kill yourself. Right? The truth hurt. But no pain, no gain, right? Because everybody want to work hard. Who out here gonna work hard when you ain't got a choice to work hard? That's a different type of work right there for those that don't know. That's a different type of work. Now that's really the, the break it down. That's the real issue that men is having out here with women. Men is just having a problem out here with accepting their sexuality. Men is depleted from, from pornography and depleting their testosterone. Niggas is out here on some feminist shit. Right? Niggas gotta work on themselves and practice semen retention. Retain your shit, fall back from women for a while. They not fucking going nowhere. And I promise you ain't shit gonna change when you when you on time and then you done retain for a while, you gonna realize ain't shit changed. It's like you ain't even go nowhere, no matter how long you took it. It could have been for a couple years or whatever, you gonna still realize certain things ain't never gonna change in life. You're not never missing out on nothing. That's what people feel to realize. Motherfuckers want to think they missing something. Bitch, you ain't missing nothing, nigga. Go work on yourself. Stop worrying about women and how to date and the problem with hypergamy and all this bullshit. So who, the, who cares about that? Because would you care if your dick was the size you wanted it to be? And you could be, you wouldn't give a fuck about no hypergamy. You'd probably be feeding right into this shit. Spitting game, being a player. Right, but niggas be tight out here because niggas got they they penises ain't the right size. That's the problem, cause porno that was the whole purpose of porno to make you shrink your dick. Right? For those that don't know, that's what it do to you. Masturbation shrinks your penis. That's why they tell you to masturbate. Cause they know that what makes men out here confident is having testosterone and they peace right. 
right? Because our purpose is to procreate, right? Men and women. We all want to be in, in the healthy and the best shape we can to attract the best meat to procreate and, you know, to have a family and shit. That's one of our main goals out here would really make us feel fulfilled in life, right? It's just in our DNA. So they know that's going to fuck you up and hurt you the most if that part of you is, is not right. Right? So what the fuck you going to do? You going to get it right? Because that's the only choice you have at this point. That go for anybody, even the dudes that's above average and your piece is right. You still know in the back of your mind, you a little fucked up too, because you like, eh, even if I get with them, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing my thing out here. I got to chill. I can't even fuck as much. Because I know, for me, I get up in them walls and shit, shorty with the fat ass, I'm going to bust all over her cheeks. Right? Or, you know what I'm saying? Just knowing in general, that it's like, damn, yeah, son, like, you know, just out here fucking and shit. Like, you gonna wanna move different. You see women out here so open with their sexuality. And you wanna be stronger. You knowing about semen retention and no fab and what porn done did to you. What it do to you in general. What too much busting to do to you. Like, damn, I gotta change my ways and shit. You know? And that'd be on, that, that discomfort is real because semen retention is not no fucking joke out here. If you to be practicing some shit like that. Even though people not supposed to be really, you know what I'm saying? They're supposed to just go with the flow with the shit. This shit is hard, though, to make that type of lifestyle change. To go for beating your dick off every day like it was nothing and not doing it at all. Or to be freely having sex whenever you decided to. Or you could if you wanted to. You got a girlfriend or you got some hoes or whatever. Now you like, man, you, got, you start changing your whole lifestyle up. Like, it's, it's some new shit. That semen retention shit is new for all of us. But the benefits that come with it is going to make all of us be where we need to be. Right? The, the, you know what I'm saying? This shit going to help us all. But that's the real problem, bro. Listen, if you a dude out here, you know that truth, bro. You Niggas already knew that in the back of their mind. I'm just putting it out there. But this shit, that, this some shit that probably everybody already knew. There's nobody talking about this side of it. Where dudes out here is just not... It's, it's men out here, mad dudes. They say the average size is five inches or below, right? So the majority of men, the majority of the following that come to these channels that bash women and shit, it's coming from dudes that's not, you know, not comfortable with their sexuality and shit. That's all it really is, man. And shit is weird, it's like, we, bro, female nation hypergamy is some shit that's never gonna change. And if you really do want it to change, we gotta get back in our bag and become leaders and niggas gotta get the fuck out their feelings about shit that they don't like. Nigga, just do something about it. Do what you gotta do to work on yourself to be more confident. Instead of trying to, you know, look for somebody to blame as to why you you feel like you suffering or some shit. Like, women ain't the women ain't the problem. And as men, we gotta take responsibility for the fact that niggas have been insecure for mad mad long for too long. I'm a victim of that too. I'd have been insecure for mad long, not fitting in, shit like that. For me, not being able to pull the kind of women I wanted to. Whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? Growing up in a toxic home, like, we all got different forms of things that have made us insecure. Look at the world we live in, and shit is all over the place. It's been like this for as long as you can, everybody can remember. That's what it's, that's what, you know what I'm saying? That's the whole purpose, though. Most things going out here to try to break you. And once you realize that, you're like, ah, right, as a grown man, you come to the realization and the truth. Now we just do something about it. Now we do what we gotta do to change and be better and to be great. For me, like, I don't wanna make this video too long, but that's some real raw red pill shit. I'm out with that.